Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to S. John Premier. This is a space for inspiration, motivation, and accountability because we all need that, especially for the ladies who I believe are on individual, personal, and very private journeys to discovering their goddess, allure, beauty, and charm. It is my desire to encourage and help women to be powerful on purpose every day and to achieve their goals in peace, joy, and in calm flow. No more of this hustle and bustle. Let's figure out ways to be easy and calm down. Okay, so make sure to like this video, share this video with everyone you know, and please do subscribe to S. Don Premier here on YouTube. Make sure to like and share S. Don Premier on Facebook, and please, pretty please, follow S. Don Premier on Instagram. It's go time, baby. So I'm just sitting here trying to wind down. Um, today, I got back to work for a full day. You all know that I have um, been home recovering from a surgery back in December, and now I am getting back to work, getting back to the things I love, and it comes with its own special joy but at the same time, it comes with a special challenge because I have to get back to the balancing act with my children. So I am in that space right now. And so it has been a long day today. So I'm actually winding down and I'm actually preparing this video kind of late um, because I told myself I was going to do a video today, but I really wasn't inspired. I usually have to get inspired to do my videos. And um, I got inspired finally by seeing all of the reviews and the comments and things from people regarding the halftime show last night. So let's get into that. Um, I thought it was awesome. And let me just say, I am absolutely biased because the majority of the music is music that I use in my dance fitness classes. So I was totally in my element last night and it was absolutely wonderful. But it was kind of disheartening today to see so many ugly comments about J-Lo and Shakira coming from women. Mm, mm, mm. Women can be so, so mean. Mm. Now, 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 let me get some tea. Because mm -hmm. I am trying to bring it down a notch. I even have my little meditation music playing in the background because I usually um, do that, um, play some music in the background just to kind of center myself and calm myself down. And today is one of those days because I've been working all day and dealing with my children this evening. And so now it's time to just bring it down a notch. So soft music, I got my tea. I'm gonna get through this video quickly. So I was reading a lot of these comments and things and I was like, wow, see, you see ladies, this is why we losing. This is why women lose. Because, see, we are focused on the wrong things. We pick apart the wrong things. We are paying attention to the wrong things. I'm seeing all of these derogatory comments about the halftime show last night and what was inappropriate and what, and what wasn't family-friendly or child-friendly, whatever. Ladies. One way to enhance your goddess, allure, beauty, and charm is to stop and think 
and observe what's really going on and focus on what's important. Prioritize what's most important. Ladies, sometimes we are just focused on the wrong thing. Okay? Now, I truly believe that J-Lo is somewhere living her best life not thinking about us or our comments, our reviews, or our judgments. I am pretty sure that she is somewhere unbothered by all of the foolishness and nonsense that is going on in social media around the world. But I digress. Let's get into the topic tonight. I call it priorities. J-Lo got us out here like... You are the star of your own show. Let's get into it. Okay, listen. I started reading comments this evening and I just started having thoughts and they just kept coming to me, coming to me and I had to write some things up so I could remember and stay on task. But let's get into it. Ladies, we're focusing on the wrong things a lot of times we are so worried about how we are seen and what people think of us. We are afraid of our own shadow sometimes. And um, we're still looking for acceptance, permission, and approval to be great in our own individual way. Meanwhile, Miss 50, Miss J. Lo is out here twirling beautifully and gracefully on a pole. How? 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 How, Sway? How? Where, where is all this confidence coming from? Where is all this security coming from? How? How? How is she doing this? How? Well, I'm going to tell you how. The majority of her energy goes into achieving the goals that help her to accomplish the things she has decided that she wants for her life. She's in her own world and it is all about her. She is the star of her own show. J-Lo is apparently using her time and her energy to upgrade her entire existence and get her whole entire life. And y'all already know, I am so here for it, J-Lo. Nice job, lady. I'm going to talk about therapy, fitness, taking it easy, and focus, okay? According to J-Lo. All right. I'm easy. I'm going to use and reference a few articles that I already read about JLo and I don't have a reference list. This is not a college paper. I don't have what's it called when we write all the references of the sources that we use, whatever. I forget. I'm not in school anymore. Thank God. But anyway, I don't have that list. So if you want to confirm anything that I say, Google it. It's go time, baby. So therapy. I'm a huge fan of therapy. You're going to hear me talk about therapy all the time on probably every video because that's where I can complete my surgery. That's how I complete my surgery as I navigate the changes in my own life and in my world. That's the space where a lot of my own self-work and evolution takes place, okay? Sidebar. Let me know if you need a direct contact. You can message me on Instagram at Eston Premier, or you can send me a message here some way and I will connect you with an, uh, a reputable individual that I know, or you can, <clears throat> excuse me, find her through, I believe it's called betterhelp.org or betterhelp.com. They need to pay me for that plug, by the way, but I digress. Like me, <clears throat> most superstars have a therapist. Working in the kind of business that J-Lo works in, in conjunction with living a normal life, it is a requirement. At some point, most stars need it. So, J-Lo 
has most definitely spent time in therapy. She talks about it in her book, True Love, where she admits the need to get down and dirty with herself. She said, you have to face yourself. You have to dig deep into the messy, gooey stuff. She said she had to get to a space where she understood that part of the problem she had in, with, in relationships, particularly the romantic ones where she got her heart broken and her face handed to her, her most notably her marriage to Mark Anthony, it all came down to her. In the end, it all came down to her. And this does not discount any part that he played for what happened between the two of them. It just simply highlights her revelation that her life is up to her. I love it. The ownership of her faults and her shortcomings. I like that because that's just something that we're going to have to all do eventually, you know? Being able to look in the mirror like, girl, you need to get your whole self all the way together. And then connecting with an objective professional who could help who could help her to fully open her eyes and embrace herself. I love it. This is the exact thing that is necessary for women, in my opinion, who desperately want to change and improve their mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual health and wear and wellness. Um, divorce, in my opinion, it forced J Lo, and this is what, and it also says this in our article. Um, is it forced her to confront her greatest challenges, identify her biggest fears, and ultimately emerge as a stronger person than she's ever been. Do you want to know and truly find out who you are? You want to know who you really are? Get married. Get married and have some babies. Get married. Become a mother. And then go through a separation and or divorce. In this space, you discover who you truly are if you're open to your own personal critique and it's not going to be pretty. Although, once you start doing the deep work, the sun starts to peep through the clouds and it shines everywhere and everything becomes clearer and looks more and more beautiful Every day, no matter what is going on. You're always smiling. Because you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that the sun is shining even in the middle of the rain. And it won't be long before you see the rainbow. I mean... J-Lo doesn't appear to be disenchanted with A-Rod at all. He also seems to be smitten over her. Judging by his high level of enthusiasm while he cheered for her and celebrated her during the Super Bowl performance. You see, your man, he's supposed to hold you in high regard. He's supposed to hold you in high regard. He's supposed to hold you in high regard and he's supposed to celebrate you often. Now, it could be our smoky mirrors in Hollywood or perhaps there is truly sunshine after all the rain that J-Lo has experienced. And this usually happens after the deep work is done. J-Lo had to also focus on her fitness. I keep trying to tell y'all, find a fitness class, right? I spoke about this in uh, one of the last videos I made. Find a fitness class that you take once a day, once a day, okay? Don't overdo it a few times a week. 
sidebar, and this is a shameless plug, I got to shout out the NFL for hosting the most glamorized Zumba class and pole fitness class that I've ever seen during the halftime show. I was all the way here for it. They better come through. Listen, ladies, y'all better get into it. <laughs> y'all better get into it. Sign up for my class. Okay? So, anyway, I digress. So, listen. J-Lo had to train. She had to train for Hustlers and prepare for the Super Bowl. J-Lo consistently trains three to four times a week for an hour. One hour, three to four times a week. She said, I don't kill myself. I used to do more workouts when I was younger. I've learned how to do it smarter now. She said, it's fine if you're five to 10 years old, but when you are her age, 50, your body is like, what are you doing? She understands that for most women, her in particular, as she ages, that she must adjust the extent and depth of her output. I'm so here for it. I'm here for it because uh, a lot of the output, output that we put into our existence, our relationships, our kids, and even our professions, and our extracurricular activities, I'm always thinking, there's got to be a better way. My goodness. It's got to be a better way, especially as you get older. J-Lo is 50. At least that's what Hollywood tells us. And if that is indeed the case, then she is figuring out how to accomplish more by doing less. And I applaud her for this. And I encourage this for women everywhere. I'll say it again. Get somewhere and sit down. Now, naturally, you have to adjust your life and your output according to your frame of reference and your experience, okay? My point is, it can be done. Just do it. You can cut some things back and you can get somewhere and sit down and just calm down a little bit and not put so much stress on yourself. Don't do anything in excess, okay? Because then it has the potential to become stressful. As you age, ladies, I encourage you to strategically, strategically eliminate all forms of stress. I'm a group fitness instructor. And in the beginning, it was to eliminate stress and to manage weight. But then I discovered after teaching over 10 plus classes a week that it was actually backfiring because I discovered through one of my colleagues' mental wellness programs, um, I discovered that I may be doing too much of one thing, okay? I discovered that I was using my profession and living in the gym as a Band-Aid for a host of personal problems. I talked about that in my Band-Aid video, okay? This lady, she not only trained me in my first dance fitness format, but she also introduced me to my first experience in self-care, self-love, and mental wellness. So it went from I had to fall back and stop overdoing it because the thing that gave me peace and freedom started to become stressful and the novelty was wearing off. It went from, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so great to... Man, I wonder if I should find a substitute for my class tonight because I really don't feel like going. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Okay? So, um, yeah, I had to stop that because it was too much. It was too much. I was doing too much. I talked about this in um, the video I did about Band-Aids a couple of days ago. Okay? So, you might be doing too much of one thing and you need to balance all right. All I'm saying is calm down <laughs> because we are doing too much, ladies. And then we expect everyone to care at the level that we care. 
And sometimes we even want them to reward and celebrate us on a major level. And when they don't, we're confused, offended, and even insulted. We get caught up mentally, emotionally, and physically. And when we discover that not too many people are as caught up with our existence as we are, we take it a little bit personal, okay? And in the spirit of the Four Agreements, check out that book, The Four Agreements. We simply can't afford to do that. We cannot take things personal. Everyone is operating in their own world. So to them, their view, their thoughts, and their attitudes are right. They're correct. Think about how you deal with men. Think about how you deal with men, especially if it's inside of a challenging relationship. Notice how they operate in their own world, according to their own agenda and plans or lack thereof. Either way, nine times out of 10, their plans and agenda is likely not in alignment with how you operate and with what you want. Ladies, I encourage you to adjust accordingly. We have to manage our extra, and I can be so extra, and we have to control our strong feelings and emotions, okay? And always remember that we too are operating in our own world and marching to the beat of our own drum, where we are the star of the show all day, every day. And that man, along with others, they aren't as invested in our little world as we would like them to be. Don't take it personal. We are all self-serving in some way, as we should be, and our relationships should be beneficial. Adjust accordingly. Strategically, get rid of all baggage, okay? And turn off all the noise around you. You have a lot of different things competing for your attention, okay? Ask yourself, what is most important to you? Get honest about what you want and why, and then go all in in every way that moves you closer to your goals. But you have to get rid of baggage and turn off all the noise. In one article, JLo says that this is how she focuses. She focuses on four things. Drink lots of water. See? Drink your water and mind your business, ladies. I said this in one of my videos before. Listen, you should be drinking so much water that you stay in the bathroom so much so that you don't even know what other people are doing because you're using the bathroom so much. Drink your water and mind your business, okay? Mixing up workouts is another way she learns how to stay focused. Like I said before, try not to get stuck doing too much of one thing. Get in the mix. Maybe even with me, come to some of my classes if you're in the DMV. Okay? I have a cardio dance workout and resistance training for you. Hit me up. Listen, there's no way around it. You're going to have to get up. You're going to have to keep moving and don't ever stop. Okay? Get plenty of sleep says J Lo. she said listen sleep is where it's at i said this in my video before again get somewhere and sit down i think jlo said that she tries to get seven to nine hours of sleep a night and on the weekends um i think it's like almost 10 maybe even upwards of 12 i don't know you have to google that um either way get your sleep okay now i know a lot of you might say oh well she's a star she can afford to sleep blah 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 no no, no, no. She has the same 24 hours that we have. And she has probably way more responsibilities than we do considering her lifestyle and the business and the career choice that she has. Think about it. You don't look like that at 50 just by chilling. Okay? So, but she's getting her rest regardless. She's figuring out ways to... 
achieve that calm flow. And the last thing she says she does to keep focused is keeping things spiritual from meditation to positive affirmations and expressing gratitude always. This creates balance necessary to dig deep and focus on yourself. I also mentioned this before in one of my videos. Okay, you see how JLo is giving me my whole life? I look at JLo in Hustlers and in the Super Bowl show, and all I see is mad focus and tunnel vision. Okay, she has she is like a no f's given approach to achieving her goals. She had to learn pole dancing for the movie, and I can imagine her having thoughts about what people would say or think or how she might make other women her age feel. Various forms of backlash from her continuing to level up in her own way on her terms, no matter what. She obviously had to go all in and didn't waste time on anything that did not enhance all of the greatness that she is serving us, honey, and she is serving. I'm so proud of you, JLo. What? She is just another example to me, in my opinion, of what it looks like when a woman discovers, embraces, and is living out her goddess allure, beauty, and charm. Know her life isn't easy. She's a working mother with a fair share of disappointments, professional blunders, failed relationships, issues, and trauma. No, we don't know her real life on a daily, but she opens up some in her book. And now we see her getting her whole entire life at the gracefully seasoned age of 50. Get into it. How do you achieve such greatness? She likely spends a lot of time focusing on herself and not worried about what anybody else is thinking or doing. She is obviously prioritizing her own personal, mental, emotional, and physical health and wellness. She is withstanding the test of time. <laughs> JLo understands that time is keeps on slipping into the future and she doesn't have time to be stuck, okay? Going in circles and wallowing in mess. I am so here for it. Get your life, JLo. If you're feeling the message, you already know. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to S Dawn Premier here on YouTube, follow S Dawn Premier on Facebook, and follow S Dawn Premier on Instagram. It's go time, baby.